The fundamental question raised by the candidacy of my opponent is still unanswered less than a week before election and a day and a year since he set out to win the governorship of this day. The unanswered question that disturbs millions of concerned California is this. What has Ronald Reagan ever done for the state of California in his entire life other than make a motion picture, Bedtime for Bonzo, or uh, Ladies on Probation, or uh, The Last Stand of Custer. I mean, these are the things. Why, we've been building this great big state of California, its colleges and its universities and its freeways. Where was my opponent? That, that question, of course, is important. But the, the real major question that you have to ask yourself is, what would my opponent do as governor? How would he exercise the power and the prestige of governor? The acts and the decision of the governor of California, any governor of California, directly affects the lives of you here today, all of the 19 million plus souls in this state. How would my opponent act? What would his decisions be if he should ever be in a position to make and execute them? This is the disturbing question that every California voter must try to answer as best he can before he enters the voting booth next Tuesday. You've heard a great deal about my lack of experience. That's, that's true. Lack of experience actually in holding public office. But I know that there comes some times when if you want a job done, maybe you get somebody in who hasn't found out all the things you can't do. I'm quite sure. I'm quite sure that perhaps I'll make mistakes in that office. But they'll be the mistakes that you can understand. They'll be the mistakes of trying to improve efficiency and productivity, trying to cut overhead and waste and streamline and put modern business practices into the running of this government. I'll go out and try and I'll bludgeon companies like your own to try and get even on a leave of absence basis, men and women who are qualified to come in and take over some of the administrative positions and some of the administrative positions I just won't go out and get anyone for because I don't think they're necessary. They were created as rewards for political favors, and we're not going to give that kind of reward. Partisanship is going to end on November 8th if we're elected, and we're going to set up a government for all of the people. I know that many of you are Democrats, and I offer to you a government not based on any narrow partisan concept, but a government that's based on the idea of all of the people of this state having a voice in their own destiny, some control in running their own affairs, yes, and in spending their own money, because I believe we can have economy and government if we have a governor who believes in economy and who believes the cost can be cut. Each week, American History TV's Real America brings you archival films that provide context for today's public affairs issues.